Welcome to the calendar tutorial. The calendar feature in Mobile Midwife makes it easy to schedule appointments and have appointment reminders texted to your clients. From the client list page, tap on the calendar button on the toolbar to view all the upcoming appointments you have. If you tap on the little calendar button in the upper right corner, you will be taken to the calendar tab. Tap on the All button in the upper left corner to choose which calendars are displayed. By tapping on an item in the calendar list, you can hide or show all the appointments on that calendar. The calendar will have Internal listed below it if it is an internal Mobile Midwife calendar, or the word Device listed below it if it is an external calendar. External calendars are the calendars that you have configured on your device in the Settings app, such as your Gmail or Yahoo email accounts. You can add additional external calendars by opening the Settings app on the iPad. This is the app that looks like a gray gear icon and says Settings. Then go to the Mail section and press Add Account. The internal calendars are the calendars that are only in Mobile Midwife. Appointments that are added onto the internal calendars will seamlessly sync across all the devices in your practice on any iPad, iPhone, or Mac. However, they cannot be seen outside of the Mobile Midwife app. You can create new internal calendars by pressing Add in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Some practices like to create a separate calendar for each midwife. That way a midwife can choose to view only their appointments to see what their schedule looks like. Other practices will create separate sub-calendars for the various rooms they have at their birthing center facility. You can swipe to the right or the left at the top to change to the next or previous week. Tap on the little calendar button to quickly jump to a very distant date. Tap on the month in the upper right corner to choose a different month or tap on the year to choose a different year. And then drill down to the desired date. By default, this screen shows you the week view. However, you can press week to change to the day view. The day view is particularly valuable when viewing days with lots of overlapping appointments and even more so when on the iPhone with its small display. To add an appointment, press the Add button in the upper right corner. Then choose which calendar you want to add the appointment to. From here, choose the appointment type, date, and duration. Optionally, you can select the client that this appointment is for. If the client hasn't been added yet, then you can simply type their name in the other field. You can also tap on an appointment to edit it. Lastly, you can set the repeat frequency. For instance, you may want to configure a staff meeting or maybe a prenatal visit that occurs every Monday. Now let's press add again and choose an external calendar. Typically, your external calendar options will show something like iCloud and your Yahoo or maybe Gmail account, but they will all be prefixed with the word device. Notice how the new event pop-up looks very different compared with when we added an internal appointment earlier. You cannot associate this appointment with a client or choose an appointment type. Other users in your practice will not be able to see this appointment unless you also add this external calendar on their device using the Settings app. 
Mobile Midwife Appointment Reminders will also not work with external calendar appointments. Now let's learn about appointment types. We will press the gear button in the upper right corner and choose Configure Appointment Types. From here we can add, delete, or modify an appointment type. Appointment types are just a way of visually organizing appointments. They each have their own color and default duration. When you choose the appointment type, the default duration will automatically populate into the duration field, but you can change it to any value you like. The last feature to discuss on this screen is the search button at the top. This feature lets you search through all the appointments. You can search for words that are in the comments section of an appointment, or you can search by the client name. Now let's go to the Settings Account tab in Mobile Midwife to learn how to configure the calendar feature. In the calendar default section, in the calendar default section, we need to choose our default calendar. You can set it to an internal or external calendar. The next field is very important. It says, always ask which calendar to use when adding new appointments instead of using default calendar automatically. If you set this option to no and set the default calendar to an internal calendar, you will not be able to create appointments on the external calendars. Conversely, if you set the default calendar to an external calendar, you will not have any way to add appointments to an internal calendar. We have this set to yes, which is why when we added an appointment earlier, the system popped up a window asking us which calendar we wanted to use. So if you want the ability to add appointments to both internal and external calendars, then set this field to yes. If however you know you only want to use Mobile Midwife to schedule appointments on internal calendars, then set this to no and set the default calendar field to one of the internal calendars. When the add appointment window appears, you can always change the calendar to different internal default calendars. Conversely, if you know that you will not be using Mobile Midwife internal calendars, then set this field to no and set the default calendar to an external calendar such as your Gmail account. You can easily change to a different external calendar in the add event window. I know this is a bit complicated so you may need to go back and listen to that again or just play around with the options to understand it better. Next let's talk about appointment reminders. Appointment reminders are configured by going to the message templates tab. Appointment reminders can be sent one hour before the appointment 24 hours before the appointment, or when the appointment is scheduled. Most users only have the 24-hour appointment reminder configured, but some users have all three. Your practice should already have the 24-hour appointment reminder added by default. To create another appointment reminder though, you can press the plus button in the upper right corner. The template name, subject, and body can be set to anything you like. However, you will want to use the appointment time placeholder somewhere in the body of the message so your clients will know what time the appointment is. Both the appointment time and date will be inserted here by the system. Then set automatically send to clients before an appointment to yes. Then choose one of the three options, one hour, 24 hours, or when appointment is scheduled. Then choose the delivery method. You can choose email, SMS, or email and SMS. However, SMS will not work unless you enable the SMS feature in the account tab. The calendar feature is free, and appointment email reminders are free. However, the SMS feature in Mobile Midwife has an additional fee because we have to pay a third-party service to facilitate this capability. In the account tab, scroll down to the billing information section. From here, set Enable Text Notifications for Appointment Reminders. Press Learn More to learn about the fees associated with this feature. 
If you enable appointment reminders, clients will be able to text back responses to the appointment reminder, and it will go to the chat tab under their chart. You will also be assigned a phone number that is local to your practice. You can give that number to clients to send you texts. Lastly, let's quickly see what the calendar feature looks like under a client record. When you are in a prenatal, you can press the calendar icon on the toolbar. From here, you see all the upcoming appointments. You can tap on the people icon to choose to only see upcoming appointments for this client. This, of course, only works if the appointments are on the internal calendar. Press the plus button to add an appointment. Then we are presented with the appointment pop-up just like we saw earlier when we were in the calendar tab at the practice level. We can press the calendar button with the arrow to be taken to the calendar tab. The calendar tab here at the client level looks and operates the same as the calendar tab at the practice level that we demonstrated at the beginning of this tutorial. The only difference is that when you add an appointment, you do not have to choose the client because it is automatically selected for you. That concludes the calendar tutorial. Thanks for watching.